what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is another wig install and this wig is by Jules Durr you can find this wig on Amazon I'll go ahead and link the wig down in the description box for you guys down below as you can see it is an ombre wig it is a free lace part wig of course frontal um, it is 26 inches and the color is amazing it is an ombre honey so here you can see I was uh, placing the wig on my head just to measure out everything. It was a little too snug for me, but that's okay. I'm still going to make it work. The wig did not come pre-plucked. So actually, what this is the mistake that I did. What I did was actually cut the lace off before, and then I was going to try to, you know, pluck the hairs myself. But instead, I cut the lace first and tried to pluck the hairs in the front because you can see that line of demarcation. That did not work. The lace was kind of tearing up when I was plucking it in the beginning. So I was like, uh, I left it alone, which I was sad about, but that's okay. You could still see the line of demarcation. And there you saw my face where I was just like, eh. I was basically trying to figure out what was I going to do. And of course, I decided to cut the lace first before I actually pluck the front. Okay, so you guys can see, yes, I did cut the lace and you see how that it's just straight edge. There's no plucking. I really did try and I was tearing up the lace. So I did not wanna mess it up anymore. So I just left it alone and this is where I was thinking to myself, okay, I'm going to make it work. So yeah, so what I was doing was using my Got To Be Glued Freeze Hairspray to mold it down just a little bit, just to keep uh, the wig in place and secure it. Here is the problem for me where you could tell that the wig did not fit very well. I was pulling my edges out to basically put some edges on because the wig would not pull any forward, any more forward basically. So that's why I was actually using my own edges and some part of the hair to give that edge look. And you guys, I don't know if I mentioned this in the beginning, the hair is definitely synthetic. So I was struggling just a little bit and it does shed a lot. I will tell you that. The ends weren't tangling as much as you can see. The hair is pretty long, being that the hair is synthetic, but it did shed more than it actually tangled at the end. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Would you prefer a side part or a middle part? I mean, for me, it depends on the wig and basically how it looks or fits on me. So, of course, I would prefer a side part, but hey, it all depends. And you guys know I love a side part. I would prefer a side part more than 
a middle part but with this wig and you know with the front not being plucked I decided to go with the middle part I thought it looked better and that's where I pulled out some hair so I can give it the baby hair look and I thought it actually came out pretty good this look actually was very very more so my style with this type of wig you know it's full it's bouncy the curls were amazing and here what I was doing was spraying the got to be just to flatten it out a little bit and I used the blow dryer to keep it flat I didn't want to use my hot comb to put heat on it um, I just didn't trust the hair because I didn't want to burn it so now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some foundation to the part just to make it look a little more realistic and that is it this is the final results of the wig I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys enjoyed the wig as well the link is down in the description box below for you guys to so take a look it is very inexpensive and yeah so also make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos as always stay safe stay blessed and I will see you guys in my next one bye Thank you.